tested of the groups in this year's tournament. Rosa Manberg welcoming Lee Cabalis of Lithuania to the home court. And we're in Bavaria, Franconia to be precise, in southern Germany, where these two teams look to prove something after holding a one and two record from their first three games. These are tonight's uh, games, as you saw. Ike getting the 90-80 win over Dijon tonight. Nimburg already in action against Antwerp. And of course, that uh, very interesting game as well between Fan Labrada and Hapoel Jerusalem too, along with this one in the loud and daunting Brosa Arena. Where players like Kratzer, Leon Kratzer, will look to try and get on top very early on. These are the standings, and as you can see, Bamberg and Nick Cabellis towards the bottom of the group with uh, a 1 2 record, respectively. But victories tonight for either team will see them uh, very much stay in contention for a place in the top four and the next phase of the Basketball Champions League. And of course, with talent packed across these two teams group C proving to be arguably the most fun of the four groups in the competition and let's look at Lee Cabellis in a little more detail five players in double digits in their first win over Nimbert last week Mike Morrison 22 with experience of the German League with Frankfurt he was one as our veterans Jamal Wilson of course the small forward Saras Yazaitis, number 13, at 36 with five league titles across Europe. Can he deliver? As he did against Nimburg with 21 personal points. Well, they're up against a team that you don't look at without uh, thinking about recent coaching changes. Of course, uh, former Latvia national team coach Janas Bagatskis is the man in charge now. And you look at the top of the, uh, the list, Therese Rice, so key to everything Bamberg are good at. The point guard badly missed in the final quarter against Dijk through injury. Look out too for the, uh, the absence of the Greek veteran Nikos Zizis, the Lord of the Rings, looking for more silverware, but he won't be uh, taking the court tonight, so perhaps that might leave room for the likes of William McDowell-White, their number seven with his uh, back to us just a moment ago, the Australian, the boy from Brisbane, who could have played Australian rules very much a young player on the rise at 20 years of age. So we're all set for the two introductions. And we await these two teams who take to the court in front of what will be a passionate, loud home crowd. Donatis Tirolis. Lithuanian national team out member first for Lee Kabelis. League winner with Zalgirdis in uh, 2015. Pelepic, very handy uh, shooting guard as well. Sirius Kulvitis can play three or four. And of course, uh, Yosaitis amongst the uh, players coming to the picture. There's Mike Morrison, of course. Four seasons in all with Frankfurt. Yamar Wilson and then Mindauska Kukas. His second season with Lee Cabellis had a season back in 2012-13. And an awful lot of talent and an awful lot of experience for the likes of Kedzoulis to uh, call on. And what of the arrival of the home team, Rosa Bamberg. The nine-time German champions Go well domestically as well, 4-0 so far. Even another basketball Champions League team on the road, Ludwigsburg, who are not having the greatest starts themselves. And I wonder if they're still thinking about that Paco Cruz Hail Mary that won the opening game for these two teams. Van der Brada coming out, 89-88 winners. And listen to the volume rise. The Clappers are here. There's so much deep red around the seats and the stands. It's going to be fun to watch this one. If you've never experienced German basketball, let me tell you, the atmosphere is like this. 
around most of the courts within the uh, BBL. But particularly the Bamberg Arena, one to look out for. There is Therese Rice, the man from Richmond, Virginia, signed in the summer to deliver titles like the Basketball Champions League behind him. Mandal White, the Australian. Yelovac, the Serb, signed from Nishni Novgorod in the uh, summer. Maurice Stuckey, born in Augsburg. Leon Kratzka, very talented young uh, centre. David Daniel Schmidt, so key in that defeat to Ike. He'll want to get another opportunity tonight, you can bet that. Lewis Alinde looking sharp in his red shoes. And then Elias Harris. Spent plenty of time at Gonzaga in his college career in the United States. And has summer league experience too. Augustine Rubit, born in Houston, but German-American. Cliff Alexander, very much acclimatizing in contrast to Rubit. One and done with Kansas, of course, and getting used to life in European basketball. And we will be set to go very shortly indeed between these two teams who really need the win tonight. And these fans will holler and make all sorts of noise and they'll put pressure on these officials, I have no doubt about that. You know, three tonight from Greece, Poland and Montenegro. So as the last bits of warm-up are completed, let me uh, just update you on the other games taking place in Group C. Until it's tight in the Czech Republic, going down the stretch, 7.09 to play in the game. Antwerp lead uh, Nimburg 68-66 as we see the starting lineup for Likabelis, Morrison Wilson, along with Kovitis, Velinskis and Lipkevichus. With just the one change from the uh, team that beat Nimburg. Seeing Lipkevichus brought in by Katsunis there in picture. Lipkevichus brought in ahead of the veteran. Yazitis. And they need to change things around, Lee Cabellis, having lost the last two games domestically as well. So what of uh, Bramberg? You, you'd expect Rice to be in that starting five, that is for sure. And he is alongside Schmidt, as well as Alinde, Rubit and Alexander. So Alinde into the starting five at Kolboka's expense compared to the team that lost out on the road in Greece last weekend. And as Gabatskis knows what it takes to win big games in European basketball, and he is under pressure to deliver just that. The last few words from the coaches as we prepare to get underway inside the Bros Arena, which has filled up magnificently in the last uh, 20, 30 minutes or so. <laughs> Difficult one this one to call. Whenever Lithuanian teams play on the road, they always have support. Well, they'll do well to be outsung and shouted here. What is the rhythm of this game? How will it take shape? It's going to be lively. Bamberg with the better form domestically. The Cabela struggling a little bit, lost at the last uh, two, although they have been another basketball Champions League team in Neptunus on the road, in fact, giving Neptunus their only defeat in the Lithuanian League so far. But they are four and three. And the key for Lee Cabellis, judging by how their games have gone in Europe as well as at home, is if they start well, they can normally sustain it, but if they get off to a poor start, 
and they find that difficult to overcome. There you see what this tournament and what this competition means to these two teams. This is what European club basketball is all about, and especially in the Basketball Champions League. It's Germany against Lithuania. It's Borussia Hamburg against Lee Cavalis. We're all set for the tip. And if you can hear yourself think at home watching us, then you're doing well. The many inside the arena as the alley -oop gets us going almost for Lee Cavalis, all in white. Bramberg, Bamberg, I should say, in the mainly uh, black colours. Driving to the basket is uh, Morrison, but opts to kick it back out. Here is right. Such a vital component of whatever Brosa Bamberg can produce, and it's only appropriate that he gets the first points of the night. Wilson, Morrison, gets a good screen, Rice in there trying to disrupt, but uh, it's off the rim, and Wilson will get his own uh, rebound, but can't take advantage, and Alinde will claim the rebound. And that was one positive from the uh, defeat to Ike last week for Bamberg. My loss, but they did out-rebound their opponents, that's one of the reasons why Linde is in the uh, starting five tonight. Rather loose, though, from Rice on that occasion. Rubik can't hold the uh, the pass. A nice, comfortable jumper to get Therese Rice settled and into the game. And that would have been such a lively opener with the alley -oop. But here go Litka once more. A oh, great bounce pass. But uh, Morrison in uh, position. And he draws the foul. But is that an offensive foul call? What a shame for the man from St. Petersburg, Florida. Knows the German game inside out. And in good form as well. 16 points and four rebounds against Al Gerlis on Sunday domestically. Schmidt with something to prove. Gave away key turnovers in the final quarter last week against Ike. And a very smooth swish to get him off and running so far. And he's defending Schmidt in the low post uh, this time, and Kulvitis, though, has the advantage over him to get the Lithuanians moving. Rice, what's being very watched, <laughs> being watched very closely by Wilson. Off the rim it goes. Rebound though is initially with uh, Morrison, but it's uh, stolen away. Nikabelis will draw the foul about halfway. Well, this was uh, beautifully done by Kilvitis, who's been doing this for a number of years now. Such a versatile player. And Schmidt, with a decent screen, has the help to land the triple. Bit of consultation at the scorer's table for the moment. Certainly Schmidt wasn't letting his opposite number uh, pass in any sort of hurry. I'm surprised if Valinskis feels that for a few minutes. Certainly a case for an unsportsman like there, you would say. We've seen more harmless set fouls. Getting the, uh, the unsportsmanlike sign from the officials. Let's look at this again. 
shoulder to shoulder. And they will check it, and they will say that that is clear. They need to check that, and they have to decide, have to show that there is clear evidence for an unsportsman like to be given, and in the crew chief's opinion, it was. So Schmidt called for an unsportsman like. And Valinskis will bury those charity sh th throws from the line. One point game then early on here. Kick back outside. But no success this time for Lika. Schmidt, a point guard then. Trying to get Rice free. Rice very much trying to lead his opponents to Mary Durham's around the uh, three point arc. Running out of time. Rice. Oh, there is it. A mark of the man. Looking sharp already, isn't he? Given away by Leaker. Here's Schmidt once more, oh, step three as if uh, there's nobody there. And back down the lane for Linde, who really should make the most of that opportunity. But all the way down the other end. Salis Kovitis with two and we're in for a game here already. Vital that Lika Bellis get in there early. Rubik for two. Certainly that defeat on the road at Jerusalem for Lika Bellis was uh, very much that case of the game. They did hold things together in the first uh, half, but rather got away from them in the second as see the foul drawn by Lipkevchis. Linde picks up a foul. As Wilson steps out for the uh, Lithuanians. Kevichus, 29 years of age, another man who knows German basketball. He was uh, at Wurzburg last uh, season. And he's made one from two there from the line. Three points in this. Just during the first five minutes of the game as Rice. <laughs> he's got such close attention to uh, deal with. Dominic Mavra, the Croatian, with his first foul. Not going to have an ounce of space. Tyrese. Is that right, Stephen? Here he is once more with Mavra right in his face. But, oh, what a brilliant step it was. Just lost it at the wrong moment. And already he's starting to bear the scars. There's some typically physical Lithuanian defence. I doubt there'll be that much space from down the lane, but for a moment there was there. Mavra with the uh, the strip. Nice. Augustine Rubin. Four points to him now, so far. But Rosa Bambo with just that little bit more consistency at the moment. Nice floated. Valinskis with the two. Schmidt under serious pressure, almost a backboard violation, and it's finally turned over in the end. Alinde with the uh, the bad pass, driving to the lane. Goes Mavra, completely misses the rim. Alinde, bounce pass, finds uh, Alexander with the spin move that was ineffective on that occasion. And Lika 
continuing to try their luck. Three-point play doesn't work out. Valinskis will uh, reset. Drive to the basket. And the hot shot from Kilvitis is uh, no good. Brilliant little block though, wasn't it? Cliff Alexander showing his quality there as uh, Elias Harris comes back into the game for Bamberg. Rice. Rubit. Harris. Very athletic at five on the court right now for uh, Bamberg. Rubin at the low post and draws a very quick foul from Falinskis. Lika, though, still with a foul to give with four minutes and four remaining in this opening quarter. What a look at determination that is on uh, Therese Rice. Fran Pilepic is into the game. A lot of rotation early on here from Coach Kazoulis. Harris gives the screen to uh, Rice, as does uh, Harris. Linde trying to drive it up, kicks it back out. Harris for two, three. And the rebound goes at Licker's way with Mavra. Filipic. Here's Mavra once more. Five seconds on the shot clock. Strong drive to the basket. They can get the points. And we're in a one-point game. Rice wants more. They're just looking at getting free at every opportunity, uh, Bamberg, but rolls out for him. And Kulvitis gets the rebound. Chance for Lika to uh, leave for the first time. Mavra can't take it, though. And away comes Rice in transition. Got Rubik for company. But it's almost their own different hemispheres. What a step this was from Kilvisis, the Euro step. And then, oh, look at the coach. Coach not happy. As McDowell White comes in for a Linde. Rubin. Oh, seems to run out of options there. Mavra Felica still looking for the lead, and it's theirs. Kovicis, who's been very involved so far. Six points so far, three from six, shooting. The Dow White. Harris. Oh, puts uh, a hand across the chest of uh, Kupchas, but it's the Lithuanian's foul. And that means... But Harris will go to the line. Time for the serve, Stevan Jelovac. Uh, all sorts of changes, very, very quick. Here's uh, Yazaitis, who's uh, into the game now. And here's first down moments. You would imagine, though, with 2.23 to play in the first, there'll be plenty of chance for him to show what he can do. Tell you that Nimberg are going to get their first win over Antwerp with 48 seconds remaining. They lead in the Czech Republic by the nine points, 80 71. A little later, and round about now, uh, round about 15 minutes time, that terrific game in prospect between Rea and Tenerife. That will be one to keep your eye on. Frank Labrada have our Jerusalem later as well. Also in Group C, as is this one. Bamberg up by one. 
Now for Felica at the top of the key. But Dow White watching him very close indeed. So Felica had no option, but what an option it was. Samus Yezaitis steps into the game and immediately makes an impact. Harris, this time for Bamberg. Promising sides for Lika so far, but just under two minutes to play in the first. Yelovac just about holds on. And pops up by Harris off the rim as the shot clock wound down. It's all relative, but the atmosphere just dipping ever so slightly here with the Bamberg approach not quite working. Kupšac. Mavra. He finds some penetration on the uh, dribble, no, but he draws the foul in the end, or rather Kupšac does. It's Harris's foul. Already, Ernest Bagatsis is looking rather energised on the sideline. Schmidt back in. Presumably for now white Well, no. He's uh, staying in there for now. He's in for Rice. Palepkic. Would have been for two. Here is the Australian. Madau White for Bamberg. Real talent still to emerge. There's some, there is some serious young talent in the roster for Bamberg tonight. Dow White looking for Jelovac inside, but Fowler's caught, I think, on Kupchak. That's his first. The Jelovac goes to the line and can level things up with 54 seconds remaining in this opening quarter between two teams who, let me remind you, have a 1-2 record going into tonight. Certainly in Brosa Bamberg's case. I don't really or a team who all want to get through to the second phase of this uh, competition. And they'll also have the signs of going deep into that second phase. Here's Manfra though for Lika. All tied at 16. Kupšas battling away with Yelovac, and this time it's the Lithuanian who gets the call. Such a good option to have Milagash Kupchash, 2 metres 15 tall, one of the very tallest in the Basketball Champions League. The Kevichus finds that Mavra, who had that space for a moment, here is Kupchash, or oh, at the second attempt even, couldn't find the way through. Might yet be time for Litka to Get another play off. Schmidt steps back out. The fade away from Yelovac, but surely he was fouled, and he was. Fran Pelepic, the Croat responsible there in his first season. With the boys from Panavezic. Halfway between Vilnius and Riga, and they're broadly halfway at the moment in terms of their progression in Group C. Not quite hitting the heights, not quite the worst team in the group so far. As Wilson steps back in. Might not have been the worst foul to give uh, there for Lika with, as you can see, 13.1 seconds remaining on the game clock. Certainly time enough to get one more play. Mavra, by the way, stepped out for Lika with Wilson into the game. So, and Lika gets uh, something away. Wilson. Plenty of time. Four seconds on the shot clock. It's going to be Wilson all alone. Floats it up. The bank shot, and then the second chance, quite superb, from Mike Morrison. A real statement of intent from Lika there in the last few seconds of the first quarter. Great reaction from the bench too. We are tied at 18 after a fascinating opening quarter.
Watch this. Wilson under serious pressure. Morris Stuckey never gave him a moment and it did uh, get away. And that's absolutely fine. End of the first then. Bamberg 18, Lee Cabell is 18. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a game. Interesting to see as well. Look at the number of opportunities that Lika got. I'll let you enjoy the music though in the meantime as we watch the uh, key moments of that uh, first quarter. Interesting to, uh, to note that Kilbeat is six points for uh, Lika, shooting 50%. He's the only player to score more than uh, five for uh, both teams. Rice has picked up five, shooting 50%, but nobody's really got hold of this game just yet. And this could well be one of those games that is uh, very tight indeed throughout the course of the night. Confirmation then that Nimberg have the victory over Antwerp, 82-74. And in Group C, of course, Nimberg's first victory. And whoever loses uh, tonight's game will therefore be bottom of Group C, but very much early stages. Four games gone. And another 10 to come over the course of the next few months. So Bambo Bowl at the start of the first quarter, uh, start of the second, I should say. Schmidt, Yellowbatch. And uh, looking to be a little patient here around the uh, three point arc. Yelovac gets the jumper away. Leak can encourage, I'm sure, by the fast break points they've picked up. Six so far. And getting the odd rebound, too, as well. None whatsoever so far for Rosa Bamberg, who sees Schmidt drawn for the foul. Yelovac. Using his height difference, always one of the most eye-catching uh, shots in any basketball game. The fadeaway. Wilson in trouble. Just about set. held on to it. No, and a great bounce pass. But unfortunately, Felika Belepic couldn't find the finishing touch. Schmidt at point. Here's Harris. Stucky. Oh, great bounce pass. Puts Harris in space and the bank shot is sublime. Bamberg just starting with a little bit more focus than their Lithuanian counterparts at the start of this second. Klepic. Seemed a rather loose sort of shot to try at this stage of the game. Well, at least they've picked up a foul. Looks like it's called on Harris. Augusti well, Rubik coming in for Harris. Interesting. Lagatsky certainly thinks he can't afford that Harris to pick up a third quickly. Well, late 32 to play in the half, you can understand why. Wilson kicks it back out. Drained from Pilipic. Beautifully done. Rice 
There is very nearly a turnover, and there were plenty of turnovers last week against Ike. Need to do it all himself right now. Rice with the uh, dribble penetration, but good luck getting that one over Yazitis. Wilson for three now. Whoa! Leaker have turned up now. They're back in front, and timeout called. And they fancy their chances inside the Brozen Arena, don't they? Time up, Bamberg. Lika lead by the two points. One key stat on those graphics that we uh, showed you during that uh, timeout, and that's uh, offensive rebounds. Lika dominating that uh, part of the game. Five in all. Cup Sash, there's two of them, one each for Wilson, for Kevichus, and Morrison. Certainly an issue for Bamberg to uh, take on. But it's so tight, this one, you really couldn't call it. Certainly not in these early moments. Uh, so we still must call it, what, 7.45 to play in the half. Yellow batch, inside ball, oh, brilliant block! Kupchak with the vital hand. But it's called for goaltending. Look at it again. Oh, just dropping into the net, wasn't it? Ever so slightly. And ever so slightly is just enough. Brilliant work from Pelepic to keep that from a backcourt violation. Wilson now for Lika. Bank shot works nicely. Rice looking for a call, which didn't arrive. Bamberg's rather ponderous start to the Basketball Champions League season. Continuing here unless they can pull something out of the fire. Stuckey finds Rice. Hasn't done anything explosive so far. It's got a little cold actually. That's off the rim. Wilson now for Lika. Steps away from Rubin. And he's staggered. But it's going to be a bamboo ball. Which I'm not sure in an arena like this whether you can have any sort of conversation. Loud, passionate. And we're only in the first half. You just wait if it gets tight down the stretch. Melinde. Nice yellow badge. Going to have to do a bit of work. Ooh, gets the uh, foul from Kilvitis. Very physical in that low post, wasn't it? Here it is again, shoulder to shoulder. It was so physically strong to play this game at this sort of level. Rubik, mid-range two, no good. Yazitis with the rebound. Now here's an opportunity for Linka. Like to go four or even five points uh, clear at this point, wouldn't they? Yazitis tees it up, but it's off the rim. Oh, but given away easily. Wilson, Rice won't uh, foul him in those situations. And there is that four point advantage for Lika. Bamberg under pressure. For probably the first time, it's kicked back out to Rubit. Mm -hmm. 
the officials intervene. Uh, so we'll watch Wilson's righty very nearly through the foul, didn't he? Rice just thought better at the last moment. And out of the two players, the two point guards, Wilson's winning this one. Jamal Wilson, the veteran, 34 years of age, almost certainly the uh, only boy from the Bronx to represent the Finland national team. Here's Velinskis. Time running out for them. Three seconds on the shot clock to the corner. Yeah, Zaitis off the rim and almost uh, a terrific rebound for Mike Morrison. Mavra back into the game, as you will have seen as well. Kupchas and Wilson then making ways. Velinskis is uh, another introduction, reintroduction into the game. But down White, though, for Bamberg. Down by four. Rice. Over the top by Jelovac, but immediately the space is closed off. To the corner it goes, and Linde for three! I have got to get my shoes like that. Back to one there, Morrison for Linke. And Valinskis draws the foul from McDowell White. This is how you take a three point shot, isn't it? Cool, calm, minimum of fuss. Bounce pass from Mavra doesn't work out. Couldn't find Morrison, and away comes right to Bambo. He gets the bounce pass away, and it's floated in. Rubik with the two. And timeout call as Bamberg retake the lead. Another lead change in this highly competitive first half. 29-28, 4.29 to play in the half. That was one good defense. One good stop. We know what to do. Let's follow the last moment like you did the last moment. Bravo. That's good play. Then it's our next goal like real play and play. Let's go for it. Three down. What else is this? Give me the good speed. You are across the court. Show us the one attack. One stop back. Inside. He drops. Tiny scouts out. He can go tiny and fight. So little to choose between these two teams at the moment. It just seems to be that little bit of accuracy that just fluctuates. Bamberg, perhaps the more efficient, 52% shooting compared to Lika's 40. Almost a third more possessions for the Lithuanians as Valenskes goes all the way around the back. Yazaitis. Teed up for three, and beautifully put away by Kulvitis. <laughs> Lietzke back in front. But down white, though, for Bamberg, teasing up Rubit. Off the rim, and finally it wipes its feet and makes its way through the door. Tied at 31. Yuzaitis. Here's Maverin, so much time and space. Don't do that, Bamberg. Do not do that. Heating up in Franconia right now. But down White, who grew up a long, long way from these shores. Rubin. Well, Morrison for company in the low post. Oh, he's somehow got around him, but can't find the layup. Morrison will pick up the foul. As we watch 
Yet another example of the vagaries of a basketball on the rim. Rubit to the line. Brought up in Houston. College career in South Alabama. But he's played the entirety of his pro season in Germany, of course, his fifth season now. Going nicely in the Basketball Champions League. Averaging just over 13 points per game. Seven rebounds. And they need more of that. Do Brosa Bamberg. One point game. As Jelovac steps out, and in comes Cliff Alexander. Bamberg 33, Lika 34. 320 left in a fascinating and finely poised half. They've been almost getting the steal there. Here's Velinskis. Pops it up himself off the glass. Palm back into the hands of McDowell White for Bamberg. Bounce pass, finds Alexander, Rubik for the nod! On fire. As the boards say. I don't know how much these uh, these fans are enjoying this necessarily, but it's definitely one that the neutral can get stuck into. Mavra down the lane himself, the uh, floater. Gets Leeker back in front. Not going to be many points in this. Not as many as some we've seen so far this uh, season. And it's going to be no less compelling as uh, Rubit spin and almost gets away from the Kevichus. Here's with Dow White. Alexander unselfishly finds Rubit in space. And that dunk is with authority, as they say. Rubik once again to the line. Two from two. Having quite a game so far. Augustine uh, Rubit. Now five from six from the court. Polinskis, though, for Lika. Steps back outside under pressure from Rubit. He's going to have to do it himself, though. Oh, off the rim. Alinde with the rebound. Rice gets away for a moment. That hasn't happened too often. And one of the reasons why Lee Kira well in this game is because of that. They can't afford to let that particular part of the game slip. Three-point lead for Bamberg. Timeout called by the Lithuanians. We've got one minute 50 left in this half. If you want, if you want to win the game, like you said, you have the team, guys. You gotta be smart. Out pass for three, but just make one foul. Hey, we go five up, and we go second, just to two. Uh, so, six, five up, you're here, you're here, whatever, what time you are. And uh, 52, you will be here, you will be here. All right, let's go. Hey, go on. So the entertainment is done, and the action can begin once more on the field. Reese Rice, a little quiet so far. Three from seven shooting. Three assists so far, so he's had an impact, but. Perhaps as a scoring threat, he's been rather closed down as he was against Ike, so to a greater extent. 
against the the Greeks. There's Lika. Trying to get back on level terms. Zelinskis. The Kevichus. Cupsash, the Giants. Taking on Alexander. Kicks it back out. Zelinskis, beautifully done. They have nailed the three-point shooting so far. Well, I talked about that win over Neptunus in the Lithuanian League a little earlier. They shot 67% three-point shooting-wise in that particular uh, game. They're at 40 at the moment. Room for improvement, you might say, as Rice uh, lands the double. And we're inside the final minute of the half. Wilson. Lipkevichus, cups ass with a giant screen over the top to him. Got to make sure he nails that, and he has just about. Tied at 41. Maybe time for two more possessions. Whatever happens, it's going to be a very intriguing second half. Don't go anywhere else, please. Rice. Wilson like his shadow at the moment. What a layup that is from the American. High skill. Determining what uh, happens at key moments there. But Rice has picked up a foul there, I think. Wilson has drawn it from him. But of course they won't. Or will they go to the line? It looked as if Wilson was just uh, thought he'd try and get the ball up into the air. But it's not going to do any good. Still be a sideline ball with 5.7 seconds remaining. Wilson will have to take responsibility. Has he drawn the foul from Stuckey? Yes, he has. You can hear what the home fans make of that. And he got the he got there first, and it's a team foul violation as well now. So Wilson to the line. It's worked hard, Jamal Wilson tonight. So much experience across Europe. Makes one from two there. And both teams will reset for the final play of this first half. Timeout called, 3.1 seconds remain. Well, there was that beautiful hook shot from Rice. Finding getting away from uh, Wilson. It's quite a contest between those two. And not much in it between them either. So, plenty of time. Melinde with the inbounds play. 3.1 seconds. Inevitably, it's Rice. Puts it up. Not too far away, but he did draw the foul from Yazitis. Nikicevius, I beg your pardon. So 1.3 seconds remaining. Surely not from here. But go onto YouTube and you'll see all sorts of examples of how it is done. Put up, and not that far away either from Augustine Rubin. 
what a first 20 minutes of basketball we've had. So, so tight between these two teams. Rice has been very closely marshalled. Wilson has probably had the better of the battle of the point guards. But both coaches will have positives to take into the locker room with Broza Bambo 43, Lee Cabellis 42. Just impossible to call. But if Bamba can stop Lika getting to the basket, then they will fancy their chances, surely. More efficient play, as indicated by those assists, 13 to 7 in uh, Bamba's favour. Bamba's favour, I should say. Not much in it in terms of blocks, turnovers, and fouls. And there, your game leaders, Rubit and Kilvitas, the leading scorers. One block for Yazitis. And a couple of turnovers each for their main players. 43-42 then. Plenty of basketball available, of course, right now. With Fran Labrada a point up on Hapoel Jerusalem, also in Group C in the Basketball Champions League. 19-18, the Spaniards lead there. And look out for Venezia against Tenerife in Group B. 18 each in the opening quarter there as we watch the highlights of this opening quarter, opening half, I should say, in Northern Bavaria. Schmidt, good looking uh, Trey to get him up and running in the first quarter. Fade away from Gavlitis, a work of art. Notice with a fast break working for Lee Kep in the early part of the game. Alexander. In earnest conversation with his uh, coach at one stage, too. Bagatskis really getting stuck in. Vitas has certainly had a hand, as has Kupchats when he's had the opportunity. Mavra, two, and then the old master, Yazitis. A lot to show for that first half of basketball. That was the buzzer beater at the end of the first quarter from Mike Morrison. Got a great reaction from the bench. Fascinating game, though. Ten points. Ten minutes of quality basketball from Lee Cabalis in the, uh, the first quarter. And they followed it up in the uh, second. Plays like that. Certainly how that with... Uh, Panic Gottis Janakis introduced to the, uh, the crowd during the uh, first half. Wilson with the body control. So floated up under serious pressure. Coach Ketoulis not always uh, convinced. He should be by Jamal Wilson, no question about that. Smart from Rice, though, not to uh, give away a very easy foul. That's exactly what Wilson was looking for in that situation, too.
Rice with a few key moments. Wouldn't say that he was at his very stellar best as he was perhaps against uh, Dijon and especially against Fran Labrada. But very much at the heart of Bamberg's best moments in this uh, this game. And remember, the loser of this one will go bottom of Group C tonight. After Nimbuk's win earlier on in the evening. Great pounds pass from McDowell White to set, set that one up for Rubik. But there's a lot more to come in this second half. And you wouldn't want to go too far because this one could really open up at some stage. Jonas Shawley, second half on the way. Wir lieben Hitze. Nur nicht im Wohnbereich. Maxit Solar. 
So who's your money on then with the second half approaching? Bamberg and Likibelis very closely fought and just a couple of points between the two teams meaning it is anyone's as we prepare for the second half 43 42 the score and you wouldn't say that either team has uh, dominated it's been about who executes better as usually got on top so many lead changes in that uh, first half 15 in all but Bamberg with the lead for the majority of that first half and they are shooting better as well incidentally three point the, the shooting stats very interesting indeed because it's not just the percentages Bamberg shooting 62% overall, and they're only leading by one. Leitka, 47. But when you dive down deeper, Bamberg, 66% inside the arc, 50% outside. It's almost a complete reversal for Leitka. 40% inside and 66% outside. <laughs> And then you take the overall uh, stats. Bamberg, three from six outside. Compared to six from nine for Lika. Inside. Bamberg, 12 from 18. Lika, 10 from 25. Fascinating game. Fascinating contrast of styles. Lika, more transition game. Definitely keener for the triple, but this man, Therese Rice, with something to say about that. Seen plenty of dribble penetration from him so far. But can they get a few more rebounds as well? Bear that in mind as we approach the start of the, uh, the second. 14-13 overall in Bambo's favour, but it's about the offensive rebounds. Just one so far for Bambo. Five for Lika. Not that it's a vast difference between the two, of course. These fans in red certainly believe. You can bet your life, Therese Rice believes, and he's going to have a great old scrap with Jamar Wilson over these next 20 minutes of basketball. Southern third, Wilson alongside Pilepic, Morrison, Kilvitis, and Yazaitis. Kalepic then finds Morrison at the top of the key, but foul called, and I think it's on Schmidt, so that'll be his third, battling away with Kulvitis. Not being hooked out of the game just yet either. It would be so early, wouldn't it? 16 seconds into the, get, into the, uh, the half. Here's Wilson, oh, steps around. Uh, uh, yeah, Jelovic, and there's the layup for Kolvitis, and he's done that already in this game so far. 15 lead changes in the first, another one in the uh, second, and Rice Therese, is definitely in set on the second. Therese Rice starting as he means to go on. Wilson. Can't shake off Rice, but eventually with the layup. So much to enjoy. Schmidt picks out Rice. And Rice gets uh, some uh, space, but not as much as Alinde off the rim. Kovidis with the rebound. And away comes Wilson. Tied at 46. be a few blood pressure checks inside this arena required if it stays this tight down the stretch and Linde with a foul this time number two for him and Wilson so much awareness he's had a good start 
the second stanza. Wilson. He continues to win that uh, battle with Rice, then surely it's uh, Leakers game, but Morrison's got to show much more effectiveness in those layup situations. Schmidt for Bramberg now. Rice. Gets his hands on every single possession. Somehow Alinde's found it. And Jelovic is denied by Morrison. And again by himself on the second set go. Can Yazidis get hold of that one? It's going to be a jump ball situation. Yazidis still feeling the effects of that. At 36, why wouldn't you want to help up? Well, there was the initial bit of work from uh, Wilson. Just loosening it from Rice's uh, grip. And then Alinde doing his absolute best to make sure Yazidis couldn't get the ball. And it will be Bambo ball with uh, just under eight, sec eight minutes remaining in this third quarter. Schmidt ready for the inbounds play. Pelepic in close attendance. Helovac having a right shoulder, shoving and pushing match with uh, Galvitis, and he finally gets clear. Gets the layup and one. And the Croat has done the business for his team there. Galvitis knew that was going to be the call and did his absolute level best to make sure Jelovac couldn't get there. All in vain. Three-point play at the end. It's a bit early for Christmas, mind you, isn't it? What on earth is going on? Wilson. Rice. Gave him a yard or two, but eventually uh, closed it down. Yusaitis, double teamed. Kovicis uh, probably needs to be back with Yusaitis for three, and he brings the coach to life on the sidelines. Both of them. Talk about outside shooting. Bogatskis was uh, full of rage after Yusaitis got the triple away. He'll be more happy with Bamba Ball as uh, Stuckey comes in, and I'm sure this is for Yelovac completely missing Yazitis. That is not sharp at all. Yelovac is, uh, hook, is not hooked though, Schmidt uh, goes. Rice puts it up for three, off the rim. Yazitis can't get it, offensive rebound. Not been too many of those so far for Bamberg. Rice once more, drives it down the lane, tries the Yora step, gets nothing but Mike Morrison and doesn't get the call. Side at 49. Wilson saw his opportunity for a moment. Morrison then, up against Rubit in the low post. Going to drive it up himself. Blocked by Rubit, back at it goes, Pelepic off the rim. And Wilson is fouled, and yet more histrionics from the crowd. And especially Bogatskis on the sideline. Let's watch this again. You're a step from Rice. Close call there for the officials. Great block from Rubit. But Pelepic can't benefit. Yazitis tees up. Pelepic for the three! What a game this is! Bamberg with the inside presence. Leakia with so many outside shooting options. Rubitz, Swish for the two. 51 apiece. Wilson, oh, miscommunication with Morrison. Well, maybe this is Bamberg's chance to impose themselves on this game. Certainly that's what Kitsunis is fearing. 
neither coach or one of the more silent uh, members of the arena tonight. Yelovac, oh, straight into the hands of Kilvitis and the fast break developing for Lika while they hold it back. Morrison, Wilson. Out it goes to Pilepic, can't uh, make the triple this time. And Yosaitis with a big smile says thank you for the call. Didn't like it, did he? There's experience for you. Right for Bamberg. Another quarter where we've seen so many lead changes and bad pass from Therese Rice there. Linde nowhere near that. I'll make that 20 lead changes. Wilson. Here is Pelepic. Yosaitis gets free. Offensive foul called. Didn't see the foul, but it was Mike Morrison is drawn for it that's his third so we're starting to see one or two players now getting foul trouble schmidt on the bamberg side now morrison for Lika. another foul caught inside this time looks like wilson on rice morrison steps out well, that's probably not the worst uh, call in the world. In fact, Wilson drawing the foul from Rice. Stucky getting uh, stuck in, you might say, to uh, Wilson. For that pitch, back with him. Rice is there in attendance, but it was well read by Alinde, rather telegraphed, mind you, as. Yazitis this time is drawn for the foul. Again, another tight call for the officials to make. Leekka will be looking for the perhaps an extra step from uh, Alinde. But there was a nudge from Yazitis, and that's his second. Given how key he could be in the latter stages, they don't want Yazitis to pick up many more than that as Harris steps in for Yelovac. Now Bamberg once more. Harris. Kicks it back out to Rice. Double team, it gets through both of them. Almost deserves something as Alinde is stripped for it. And it will be Lee Kapoor. That looks a good call to me. Wilson. Stuck it on for the foul. Yeah, more frustration for these fans in red. Not sure too many German voices are in complete accord with that one. And third foul for Stucky as well. So let's look at the foul situation as, uh, as Wilson goes to the line. Bamberg with Harris, Alinde, Rice on two, Schmidt and Stuckey on three. As for Lika, Yosaitis, Kovic is on two, as is Mavra. Three apiece for Lipchevicius and Morrison. Rubin dancing his way across the court. But Stucky puts it up to no success. And away comes Valinskis. Bounce pass cut off by Rice brilliantly. Rubin. Can they get the fast break away? No, they can't. They give it away, Bamberg. Valinskis, can he make them pay? Wilson might for three. Oh, air ball. What on earth were Bamberg doing, though, after the turnover? Just a complete lack of communication.
still a two-point game. And I hope you're enjoying it as much as we are. Alinde almost draws the foul from Yusaitis. Stuckin goes back to Rice. Alinde from the line. It's a right old scrap for the rebound. Rubitz won it. Back out to Sturkey. Rice penetrates, but oh, what's for the bounce pass? And he has been really off his game tonight, Therese Rice. When you look at his figures, 14 points, four assists, one rebound. Suggests that he's having a stormer, but there's been one or two too many turnovers, and that's his fourth. Three steals as well. He hasn't quite been to Therese Rice standards, if uh, you get my drift. Cup shouts. As it ripped from him, brilliant work, Augustine Rubik. Two-point game, great no-look pass, picks out Rubik from Rice. Here's Harris, up against the uh, the heights of Kupchak. Speed wins in the end. Two twenty to play in this third quarter. Tied at 53, Wilson gets away from Stucky. Valinskis needs some help from Kupchas. We'll get it, can he float it over the top? Will it go for a long-range double himself? Outside shooting once again, working out. Well, they've just hit slightly, 58% now. Uh, Leak up, uh, Stucky puts it up. Lovely looking float. And we're back level once more. 22 lead changes. Wilson back out to the corner. Leaker with Velinskis on the money once more. My word, he's had a good game tonight as well, Valinskis, as Rice gets away from Kupchas. Off the foot of uh, Valinskis this time, so inbounds play coming up as Schmidt will step in, so will Alexander for Bamberg, and that's a brilliant strip. Great angle from our cameraman there. And it led to Harris's layup. Under pressure once more from Kupchas. So Alexander... Back in the game, there's a Lindado towards Harris. They're going to try for the low post once more. Yazitis for company, the fade away, and the two. Leaker up by one into the final minute of the third. Belinskis gets a moment from uh, Stucky, but uh, opts to uh, keep the ball as. Uh, is that a foul on Alexander? Yes, it is. So Alexander with another foul. And that'll be Kupchers, the 27-year-old, to the line. point game becomes a three-point game those Lithuanian fans look very content with life right now although they being around 15 20 minutes time though Alexander's pass cut off by Valinskis on the fast break can he get the dunk no it's blocked and the layup Mavra finishes it off and a real sign once more of the commitment from these Lika players time up called five-point game and you'd imagine that Arnas Bogatskis is going to go nuts in this timeout. Let's play. 
13 turnovers now for Bamberg. Brilliant work from Alinde, wasn't it, to deny the initial chance, but then Mavra following up. It's not all about that initial drive to the basket. You've got to be ready for second chance points. And 11 to 3, incidentally, in favour of Leaker in that department, too. Much better on the fast break as well. 15 to 6 in. Uh, the Lithuanians' favour. Such a loaded group. Games like this could well be the difference between getting into the last eight, the last uh, latter stages, I should say, and staying out. Schmidt over the top. Here's Harris for a long-range double off the rim, and that's that for the third quarter. And Lika. Maybe with a decisive lead. They won the quarter by six, and they lead by five. 62-57. And they won't need a minstrel to uh, tell them the words to this tune. Lika looking to level things and get themselves a two and two record. Still getting more opportunities compared to Bambo. As we see some of the, uh, the key moments. Wilson just about on top over Rice. Wilson, incidentally, 12 points, one rebound, four assists. Rice, 14 points, one rebound, four assists. With three steals to his name as well. Elsewhere, half time in the big game in Group C tonight, and well, Jerusalem have opened it up in the Second quarter, they lead by 20. Uh, Fuen Labrada, 57 37. Key game tonight in Group B, incidentally. Rea Venezia at 32, Tenerife 40. But there's five between these two teams. Uh, let me remind you that uh, with Nimberg's win, they will be off the bottom of the group, and you would expect that there will be a response here from Bamberg in the early part of the final quarter. Just updating them on the foul count. Schmidtman stuck it on three for Bamberg. Leeker, uh, Mitkevichus. And Morrison on three, so perhaps it's the Lithuanians in more foul trouble than Bambo, but it's tight as it is on that graphic there. Up by five. Over the top from Mavra. That Kevichus eventually uh, beaten out. And Bambo can have that first scoring possibility. Crowd are off their seats now for this final quarter. The noise intense as uh, Schmidt will take it and there's an offensive foul called I think. That will not please Magatskis. Harris looks as if he's the guilty party. That's his third now. Mavra, Kupšas, Mikevicius, Yazaitis still staying out there as you'd expect, off the rim, still nobody taking uh, control of this final quarter as Yazaitis picks up another foul, now that's significant, that's his third. It's a rather unnecessary one at this point. 
Linda going straight for him. Here is Harris. Spins away from uh, Levkevichus. Alinde on his own, what a dunk! That'll bring the crowd to life. Not that they need much help in Bamberg. Leaker up by three. Mavra over the top, cuts out, must finish. Can't, but draws the foul from Alinde. And that's his third. But what about that for the highlight reel? There's no denying that. And why wouldn't you look at that on the big screen? <laughs> That's a beautiful smile on the face of Louis Alinde, who, uh, at 20 years of age, has plenty more to offer. Cups out snow to the line. Melinda, incidentally, uh, was at an NBA Top 100 camp back in 2016, so he is on the NBA radar. More highlights like that will definitely get him noticed. But it's his foul that produces two more points for Leitke. Back to a five-point game. Rice. Got to step it up. And in this final quarter, if Bamberg uh, not going to be bottom of Group C in about 15 minutes. The fake for the three. We've got to put it up quickly. One second remaining. Rice. Oh, brilliant! What an unbelievable play. But should we be surprised? It's Therese Rice. 17 points. Mavra. Oh, tees up that cup chest, but... Draws the foul from Harris, and that's his four. Well, what about this from Right, It's almost as if they were trying to put the shot up as late as they could, and there's a wry smile on Rice's face. Not so with Elias Harris. Leaker will like their chances here, though. Three-point lead. Just over eight minutes to play in the game. If you'd offered that then this afternoon, they would almost certainly have taken it, surely. Rice ooh, draws a strong foul from Fran, Fran Pelepic. Maybe he has a moment to shine in these remaining moments. Not quite the fall we showed against uh, Neptunas at the weekend. 19 points, 100% shooting that day. Here they are, Bamberg. Rubik puts it up himself off the rim. Who's going to get the rebound? It's Bamberg. Rice gets a screen from Rubik. Schmidt all on his own. Oh, gets it at the second chance. And we are back level once more. Mavra. Inside to Kupchas. Double team, but with so much reach advantage. It's like Mike Tyson up against Barry McGuigan. Schmidt for Bamberg. Rice opted not for the pull-up jumper. Instead, it's inside, and Rubik draws the foul from Kulvitis. Three team fouls apiece now. Schmidt's heart must have been in his mouth then. They certainly still believe, don't they? Those cup shafts has worked hard, he's out of the game. As is a Linde for Bamberg. Morrison steps back in with all of his experience. Remember, though, on three fouls. Yelovac. In for a Linde, of course. Rice puts up the triple off the rim. Rice now 7 from 15 shooting. Morrison. 
Palepic. Mavra back inside to Morrison. Kicks back out. Palepic off the rim. Morrison in strong for the rebound. But it's Jelovac the Croat who gets it for Bamberg. Rice trying to be slowed up by Mavra. And it's noticed by the officials. Hand inside, that's subtly done, but not subtly enough to escape attention. Yeah, here's third foul, and possibly more importantly, Lika wanting foul away from being in trouble in that respect. 6.22 to play. Harris for Bamberg, Rubin. A real old scrap down the lane between Mavra and Jelovac, and Mavra is going to be called for his second foul in a very short while. So it'll be Jelovac to the line now with five team fouls, and Mavra on four fouls, which surely gives Coach Katsoulis trouble. Rice consults with Bogatskis and Co. And Jelovac makes sure of the first. This to tie it up. level once again 67 each tell your friends get them to join you for this one because it really is anyone's game Mavra off steps away from the double team bank shot from Kovitis doesn't work out but he could get the rebound Mavra gets some help from Morrison floats it up down the lane Such artistry about that sort of play. Whoever seems to take it these days. We're in the game for a long while now. After Michael Jordan in the in the mid 80s. Now here's Schmidt for Bamberg. Rice. Three seconds on the shot clock. He's got to take responsibility. And does so. Bamberg lead. Who else but Therese Rice brings these fans to life. And he's drawn the foul from Mavra too, I think. Let's watch it again. No, it's Kovitis. But you cannot give him any opportunity whatsoever. Bamberg back in front. Well, that wasn't a foul called in the end. Here's Mavra. Got to be so careful. Rice trying to strip it. Mavra can't get the two and maybe Bamberg now just showing signs of more control better execution yellow batch inside to Harris who's all on his lonesome time out called and surely Katsunis had no choice with the game slipping away from Lika even with just under five minutes to play. The trail by the five. Well, we're up to 27 lead changes in this game. 
Therese Rice getting short shrift from the coach as well. It's not just the players under pressure, goodness me, how much pressure coaches are under. Particularly Bagatskis, given recent uh, developments. That's uh, Bamberg. Not been long into the <laughs> job. And well, he's keen to have his say. Coach Bogatskis to his lead player and to the officials, maybe even to the drummers as well. Inside the last five, then. Wilson back in the game for Lika. Kilvitis to Morrison, trying to drive it up. And spin move doesn't work out. Harris gets the rebound. Called us under fire, so important. Morrison didn't show it then. Yellow batch for three. Seemed a rather unnecessary try attempt there. Wilson. Yusaitis. Put a pitch. Yusaitis is all alone. And there's a sigh of relief around the arena. Schmidt. Good as me, you'll want to deliver this win, won't you, after those turnovers in the final quarter against Ike. Harris's pass is just uh, nudged away by Pilepic. Seven seconds remaining on the shot clock. Three forty-nine to play. Every possession key now. Rice driving it up. He's strong, but he can't find the layup. Lika then looking for the call to get them back on level terms. Wilson steps back. Can't find the double. Lika got so cold. And they were at one stage shooting 67% from three block range, but back down to 47. Bambo possibly one big play from seeing off uh, Lika here. Harris off the rim. Isaitis gets the hand in. And Kilvitis will come away with it, as will Wilson. Lika need the next score, you would think. Inside, Kupsas has to make sure doesn't make the basket. He's infuriated, but he has got the foul. And it's right. Well, quite enjoy that. Kulvitis with the vision to see Kupchas free. Well, that's his third foul. Should be okay from there. Kupchas, you think, has to make these. So both sides now, both teams in team foul trouble now. Kupchas does make both. One point game. Take your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Rice, will he roll the dice? Oh, it's not worked out. Wilson lays it up or tries to. He's got the foul, I think, from Jelovic. But once again, they can't find the basket. Wilson to the line. Rice being double teamed every time. He gets anywhere near a scoring opportunity. It was almost a pat on the head, wasn't it, from Yelovac as Harris makes way for Alinde on the Bamberg side of the scorer's table. Wilson. Four from nine from the field for him so far. 12 points, but Kupchas has really got into the game. He's got 13 now for Lika. 11 for Kovitis. Two from Wilson. Lika back in front. Yet another lead change. That's 28. You wouldn't rule out overtime at this stage. And frankly, the game would deserve it. Schmidt 
for Bambo. Rice. Watch closely by Pilepic. Oh, that looks strong, and it's a foul called on Kilvitis. Not that he can believe it. Jelovic. The man drawing it. And remember, of course, that Bamberg with the best free throw shooting in the Basketball Champions League. Very soulful. Not as soulful as the music, mind you, but. Well, if you're tapping along at home, then you know exactly what she's feeling, don't you? Bamberg, incidentally, have nailed every single free throw so far. No mistake once again. Litka, pretty useful. 15 from 18, 83%. But will that be the difference in a game of such tiny margins? Dovitis, Pilepic. Yelovac closely to us in Kupchas. A uh, bad pass comes off Harris. Five seconds remain on the shot clock. So can Lika be cute for the inbounds play to Wilson with the fadeaway, rolls out, Kupchas gets the rebound now. Yosaitis, Wilson, need to find some heat in offence, Lika, if they're going get, to get out of this with the win. Wilson, three seconds on the shot clock, denied! And Yosaitis in a second chance, Kupchas can't help out either. 90 seconds remaining, Bamberg up by one. And now every possession really does count. Schmidt will wind the clock down. Gets a hand from Jelovac. Kicks it back out. It's going to be Schmidt eventually with three seconds on the shot clock. Falls to ground but draws the foul. Bear in mind no Zesis in the uh, lineup tonight for Bamberg. So Schmidt has to step up with Harris standing by to replace Jelovac. One hundred percent. Bamberg, and they still are. Not quite sure about the Santa costume, mind you. This for a three-point lead, and how key could that be? With one minute and 11 remaining. They're nearly there. Coach Pekatskis and his players. Three-point deficit for Lika to wind down. They're outside shooting. It's been a little off recently. The scientists watch closely. Wilson, screened by Kupchas. Kovitis. Has the chance off the rim, but the foul is called on Yelovac, and Kovitis will have free, free throws. With 48.7 remaining, just the touch, and it's enough to put that man at the lane. There's two from two. What about the third? Coach Katsoulis looking as if he's waiting for a bus there. All cool and calm. Three from three. Now there's clutch for you. 76 all. 48.7 left on the clock. Back into the game comes Valinskis. And goodness knows how many more possessions. It has been so close, this contest, from the word go. Valinskis in Pelepic out for Lika, by the way. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, the room for one more uh, change, perhaps. Everybody making it short. So to the uh, crew chief and the scorer's table. And these sort of delays, well, you don't necessarily mind. You want to get these things right at this stage. And it looks as if... Might be having a longer uh, pause here than perhaps we might have imagined. Effectively, another timeout, technical timeout here. And this should give coaches time to reset and assess. There was the touch, great angle from our cameraman. Definitely the right decision from the officials. I would suggest I've had a pretty good night. Right, here we go. Harris, Yelovac, Alinde, Rice and Schmidt for Bamberg. Here is Therese Rice, sure it's going to be him. He's going to put it up and makes the play. Big players deliver a key moments, and Therese Wright is saving it up. 20 points, made that 22 points now to him. Nine from 18, timeout call. What about this from Rice? Wasn't necessarily the perfect uh, shot. He was off balance. But what about the body control to be able to set himself up and get the shot away? And I tell you what, it's not, even though it looks like when he takes off, he's off balance, he isn't. A man in full control of every single faculty. Yazaitis, Kovitis, Kupchas, Felinskis, and Wilson on the court. Felika. It's inside to Kupchas, loses it. Harris with the turnover. Problem now for Lika. And Wilson has to step in for the foul. He has fouls to give. But if Rice knocks down both of these free throws, Lika with a serious problem with just 17.1 seconds left. Maybe that was the key possession. It's not leaving too many options now for Lika, is it? If Rice gets this. Oh, he misses it. And Lika still have a chance. Will they call timeout? No. Wilson. It's not the worst foul from Rice to give that. He's on four now. But with 12.6 seconds remaining, that shouldn't be a problem unless we get to overtime, of course. Wilson will only go to the line for two. Misses the first. This is when nerve really counts. Penny for the thoughts of Coach Katsoulis on the sideline. Wilson makes one from two, but it's not enough. 79-77. Timeout called. Bamberg want to set up for what could well be the winning play.
Move on out of all. Lucas is good. Oak. Oak like the fight. Set the screen to Tyrus and close his way. One of you is like to receive the ball. Don't go too far from the ball. Come here. Don't go too far. Wait. Wait. And in this case, it's that. Luis from here goes there. Daniel starts to go close and corner. There, the reaction from Katsoulis to that first missed free throw. And just how costly will that be? Leek had a real shot at this one. Still might get out of this with the win, but they've got to deny Bamberg here, you would think. Will it be Rice? Or will they go inside with Jelovac or Alinde? Jelovac with the inbounds play. And it's a quick foul on Rubit from Morrison. 11.2 seconds remaining on the clock. That we shall see. Whether that was the right decision in due course. Schmidt steps out. Harris back in. And Rubik makes the first. There's the second, and is that enough for Bamberg? They lead by four. 11.2 on the clock. And indeed there is a timeout for Litka and then Coach Kantoulis. And somehow they've got to get a three-point play and the foul as well. Well, there's a call. Second free throw ruled out by the official. Basic stuff from Augustin Rubik to stay behind the line, and that might just give Elikra a shot. Katsunis for three. Didn't even get past the glass. Pilepic with the... Oh, they're ineffectual shot. Been brought into the game for exactly that play. And now, Bamberg, who had to be fouled, Pelepic had to pick it up. Rubik gets another go. I'll bet he is behind the line now. <laughs> That's a pretty wide margin, isn't it? Bamberg up by five. And surely that will be enough now. Wilson's got to do something extraordinary from here. Floats it up, it's off the rim. And Bamberg have won a thriller in front of these magnificent fans. They win it by five.
82-77, but it doesn't run out to do justice to a terrific game in the Basketball Champions League. Rice coming good, 23 points, 9 from 18 shooting, and so much more besides. But just one turnover that was key towards the end. Kapsas in contact, giving the ball up. And that turned out to be enough to give the German team the win. And they go to two and two in a very, very competitive group C. When you think that Nimba were unable to win, I tell you what, how about that for a finish? It's after the shot clock, unfortunately, after the game clock has expired. What a brilliant uh, trade from Yelovac, putting the icing on the cake for these Bros of Ambo players, who've given so much to the cause and ultimately their efficiency getting through, even though Lika had more opportunities in the end. Some very efficient offence. And even though Bamberg with 15 turnovers compared to Lika's 10, that crucial turnover towards the end from Kupchus proving so, so vital. Had Leek have been able to get a three-point play away, and I doubt Kubit would have been uh, too impressed. How rare is that to see a free throw successfully drained by the player, but denied by a foot on the line? Therese Rice, once again the star of the show, Delivering in clutch situations. Didn't have the perfect game by any means. But he was the MVP tonight for these Broza Bambo players. 23 points, as I say. And when you throw in 19 for Rubik, 13 for Yalovac, as you see some of the key moments from the stretch. And we'll start again. Rubik, 19 points, 6 rebounds. Therese Rice, 23 points, just a couple of rebounds, six assists, and three steals. Rubik, 19 points, six rebounds, as mentioned. Yelovac, 13 points, five rebounds, and three assists. With 10 points for Elias Harris. And also for Daniel Schmidt, who'll be much more content with life after tonight's game compared to that defeat to Ike last weekend. Last week, I should say. As for Lee Cabellis, Wilson, 15 points, two rebounds, four assists. 14 points, six rebounds, three assists for Salis Kilvitis. 13 points, six rebounds for Midauskas, Kupchas. And then Valinskas. Just the 12 points, but not quite enough for the Lithuanians, whose efficiency rather dipped in the closing moments. They just couldn't find the basket, particularly from outside with the regularity that they managed in the first three quarters. Some wonderful moments, though, in this game. Rice at the heart of most of them from the Bambo side of things. And this is the moment where coach Katsoulis watched the free throws uh, glide by for Lee Kep. Rice with a terrific fadeaway and just when his team needed him to step up to the plate as well. Look 
the way he controls his body there. But it looks as if he's off balance and the reaction too from the bench. Great game. Bamberg go two and two. Link Cabellis go to the bottom one and three with uh, Fran Labrada and Hapoel Jerusalem still playing at the moment. But Bamberg into the top four. Will they be there at the conclusion of Group C? We shall find out. It's been a terrific night of basketball inside the Broset Arena. Thank you so much for your company. It's been an absolute privilege to watch this one uh, with you. So Brosa Bamberg with the victory in the end. And we look forward to your company next time on the Basketball Champions League. From myself, Chris Edgerton, and the rest of the Basketball Champions League team, we'll bid you farewell. <laughs>